like to make fun of. <laughs> what? Wait. Nobody watching. Three. <laughs> There's nobody watching. Two. Well, right. They will, Linda. What? Nobody. No, get back here. Because nobody can, they don't know what show it is. Oh, there's one person. Get back so they know what they're looking at. Two. Bling, bling. bling. One. Bling. <laughs> <laughs> that other one got mad, didn't Two. he? Two. Two. One. Two. Two. When what happened? One tripped. <laughs> Fell back in his chair. Four. Four. Bling, bling. We got four people. <laughs> Seven. Bling. Eleven. Incredible tiny homes, everybody. As you can see, this beautiful t-shirt. Let them build that. Fourteen. Come on, everybody. Eighteen. We're like at the at the hey, Las Alex? Vegas Las Vegas slot 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 machines. What? What did you say? Thirty. Thirty-one. Ding 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 Alex, ding 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 ding. Judy, Travis. What's up, Travis? Mary Elizabeth. Can you guys see this incredible tiny home? This is the show about Mary, to come on. Melanie Copeland. I'm Hello, sorry, Mary. we're a little late. It's her fault. Lisa, not mine. it is my fault. Mm -hmm. Delilah. Delilah. Flavia. No way, the DJ? No. I don't, I don't really, only Delilah, Randy, really I know. Really, Randy, okay. Delilah, oh. Samson. She's married to Samson. Stop. Oh my God. Nobody's still married back then. They're all dead. <laughs> they're all Samson and Delilah. Amanda, they're still alive. In our hearts. In the proverbial. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible tiny homes, everybody. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Tuning in tonight. This is incredible tiny homes. Do we have a show for you? I always say that all the time, don't I? Yeah, but we don't know. Yeah, but I'm, <laughs> I'm excited about this show because there's some major, major stuff happening, and tonight's the night that we celebrate, and I'm going to bring to you some big news. Woo! All right? Yes. Big news. First of all, before I bring all the good news, or the big news, mm. is I'm going to show you some homes, okay? Now, they've been here for a while. Uh, working on them, but they're going to stay here for the jam. We're going to have 20 plus homes, just our homes, 20 plus homes for our festival, our tiny home festival. So please try to come to it. May 25th, spread the word. We're actually going to be on Comcast. We're running mm -hmm. a commercial throughout the whole East Tennessee area. They're going to be 870 times that commercial will air. It's wow. a 30 minute commercial. My son's editing it. He did a sound over today, a voiceover. Voiceover. A voiceover. And he's editing right now as we speak in Nashville, getting it out. And so we're excited about that. We love, we're going to have a tiny home giveaway. You guys got to come. We're going to be talking and lecturing and laughing. And Entertainment. God, just acting a fool is what we're going to be yeah. doing. All right. So tonight, this one right here. And, this, I, and just really quick, I just yeah. want to say real quick at the jam, we already know of somebody who is bringing their uh, checkbook with them. They said, hey, I'm buying a house at the jam. No, you're kidding. Yeah, so, I mean, people may not know that, that you can do that. Oh, God, you can buy a house here. Yeah. Lord, yeah. And Bring all the money you have. <laughs> we're going to have door prizes. Lord, you know what? I'll end up giving everything away. I'll just tell everything. Take this, take that, take this. You know what? Box of wood and everything. Box it up. All it out of here. <laughs> so, come on, man. I want to show you. Come to the jam. We're going to have fun. If you, if you think a tiny home company can be different <clears throat> and warm and, and real, come to this one. Because it's a different jam or festival or whatever you want to call it. Because it is going to be here with all the guys. There's like 30 of us working in this company now. And all of you are more than welcome. My doors are always open. So we want you to come here and feel comfortable about seeing this company. All right? You're going to see how we run this company. You're going to see the organization and all the, mm -hmm. the pluses and minuses, the good, the bad, the ugly, and all of it. All right? Yeah. So come on and see us. All right. Everybody, this will be here. Jeannie is a great homeowner. Yes. She said to me, Randy, I'm going to leave this house for you guys to show at the gym. This will be a showcase home for us. I don't want to say showcase because we got other homes that are going to be gorgeous so too. So many. You know, Andrew's house is, is just totally different, but gorgeous different house. Different styles. Jennifer's house is going to be here. So um, we, it's just awesome. So thank you for coming. I'm already going to thank Amanda. I'm already thinking. <laughs> thank I'm you thinking for positive. I'm thinking That's positive. 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 Randy, I am not walking through that. <laughs> here, let me tear you. You can't lift me. Wow. Okay. We're ready to put the light fixtures up. We're ready to look here. I didn't turn my phone off. Rude. That's rude. That is rude. So sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah. But as you guys can see, that's the thatch with the straw. This is this is my design that I come up with about a year ago. 
and uh, we've added to this now. And this this actual one here has a full bedroom on the end of it. Mm -hmm. It's 10 by 32 thatched roof. That thatch is not real. It's a synthetic mm -hmm. PVC thatch. Yeah. That is fireproof, wind resistant, rot resistant, mold resistant, and it's got a 20 year factory warranty on it. The same company did this. Did. Uh, uh, Richard Branson's place in the Caribbean, mm -hmm. and I think mm -hmm. the fort blew away, or, or the whole place burnt down in yeah. that last hurricane. And all that was left was the fat. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pile of fat. That's all it was. That's a good product. Good product. <laughs> hey, Travis. Travis, where's your tape measure, bud? Tape measure. You know you're gonna need it. I'd steal it. Does that? Hi. Hi. Hi, Mr. <laughs> I can have a tape measure. What? I can't do it. Let's go in this one first. Okay. I'll, I'll gather one on the way out. Hey, can you step it off? <laughs> Look at this. This is the hardwood floors under here, everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Listen, mm. you guys know I can't say enough about this style of home. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. We do everything, and this is just to show you that how different these homes can be. They can be real homes. Look at this. Oh, wow. And we I sprayed, love this. We haven't sprayed the inside with a urethane, which will give that a really nice sheen. I love it. It just looks like a, oh, a burnt I mean, kind of look. Come on, everybody. Cool. Black iron, dark trim, gray T and yeah. G. You know, a barn door is going to cross here. We're going to have a ladder on the door. Beautiful. That'll go up and access up here. Great wow. barn, great barn handrails. That go across. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. First, look at this bedroom. Mm. Look at this bedroom. The oh storage, my goodness! Storage underneath here. This was made for the customer. She said, "Hey, I want it this mm. size." Yes. So that's why it looks the way it does. Wow! Here, I'm gonna show you guys. You see these lines? Yes. See how they go across? Nice. So they go across nice. They still and they have, all match. They still have to be touched up, all right, before we put the final coat of paint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is, the home is built. I mean, look at the eyebrow dormer, Amanda. I know. Let me come over look here. Look up there. We still mm -hmm. got to put a little bit of thatch underneath the eyebrow dormer, uh -huh. right? I like it rough like that. This is a synthetic thatch that we put on there, and it's made to look old world. Yeah. We still have our beams to put in the ceiling. All right, to offset all the white yeah. mm -hmm. in the ceiling, that'll be done. You and know what I like is I like that there's wood on this side, and then the uh, the uh, what is it stucco? stucco yeah, ceiling. stucco's on that side. Yeah, and, and I think that's I've always been one for texture, like different. Mm -hmm. You got you got your wood, you got your painted wood, you got stain, then you got sheetrock, or you got the thatch. I mean the uh, mm -hmm. stucco. And then you got a big old dark beam up in the ceiling. I love it, yeah. All that just grabs your attention, you know, instead of coming into it just a plain. This is a big bedroom. Nice. I mean, look, you got the bed, you got the bay window. And it's a bay there. window. Beautiful, man. And it'll look a thousand times different outside. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. here's your barn door, you know. That's in that me. And the switch is over there, of course, so. All right, there's a button. Love it. I want to okay. show you. We're going over here. Of course, the bathroom is the same thing. Mm -hmm. and I don't want to stay in here a lot. You guys are probably bored with seeing this home, I guess. I no. love it. I can't, I can't get enough of it. The trim. This is an access to the valve in the shower. So when you have, the, there's a valve in there. It's, it's mechanical. It's going to fail sometime in the lifetime of it. You can take this out, put a new valve, and get to go. All right? Wow. Closet area. 36 What's going to go right shower. here? What's that? Bathroom? Or this is the, the toilet? Bathroom. No, toilet's right here. Where's toilet? Okay. Toilet's right there. Yep. Exhaust <clears throat> fan appropriately positioned. What's going right here? That's where I'm going to stand. <laughs> is that your timeout spot? That's it, right here. <laughs> isn't this cool? Yeah. Look at this big old beam. Isn't that nice? It's just got this big old beam God, coming through beautiful. here. Beautiful. Yeah. Come on, everybody. You don't see this in the tiny home industry everywhere in the United States. Yeah. You don't see Start stuff like this. Shower. I'm going to tell you what I like about our style is that this home is a home. It's not, it is not plastic. It is built and you can see that it's real wood. Mm -hmm. It's not, how do I want to say it? It's not like a cookie cutter. Everything is just like 
You know it's what I'm not, saying? It's not perfect. It's real. You can <clears throat> feel it. You can feel that the beams are there and the wood and, and the angles and stuff. You know? I know. It feels homey in here. Now, we actually lowered the ceiling. All right? It's at 80 inches like we normally do. Mm -hmm. But we lowered the ceiling. But see this big beam? Yeah. Well, that beam had to be notched, right? To set the floor. So the floor butts into here. This is a big old girder beam that actually holds a lot of weight. And look at the... What's the... Is that where they... have it's got those beautiful well, lines, get, like Ripley. I get this. I get this wood. It's, it's reclaimed, and it's so hand hewed. So it's been hand hewed. Hand hewed. That's what you call it. Yes. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Yep. You got your farm style sink, microwave <laughs> in here, mm -hmm. and uh, the refrigerator will course go right there. Yeah. Let me go over here. Yep. Got a... You got your fridge. I mean, look, we're walking around this house like it's a normal home. You know. And you've got your place for dining, you've got your cooking, and then maybe you're in the living room. I know. Living room, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, bedroom, 10 by 32. Wow. Yeah. This will be featured here at the at the jam. Oh, look, I like how they did the microwave there. Yeah, there's drawers. Yeah, that's, that's different. Yeah, there's drawers everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know? I like that. All right, we got to keep moving because we got a lot to go. I don't want to be spending a lot of time. Okay, and it has a back time. door and up here. Okay, and he's gone. Got to move, man. All right, we got homeowners that are, would like to see their homes tonight. So I don't want to stay just on one for a long time. And uh, we have a workshop starting this Sunday. And part of the announcements that I'll have at the end of the show is about our workshops, mm -hmm. about our company, and about where we're going, what we're doing, and it's exciting, man. Very. This is Roberta's house? Yes. We can jump in this. It's, it's kind of dirty. It has, as you all know, everything looks like a disaster just before it leaves. Oh, it does, yeah. So come on. Okay, let me, let me get a good shot of it outside here. What size is Rivera? I don't know, man. I think it's 28. Yes. Maybe. And it's 30 foot with this cantilever. 30 foot with the cantilever. Okay. Yeah. And everybody, we're going to tell you about our cantilevers because that's one I, one situation. There's a lot of work in these cantilevers. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost at a point to where if you want a cantilever, you might as well just buy two more feet of house. <clears throat> it still has a roof, it is still insulated. This is a closet, but it still has corners, it's got siding, it's got hinges, it's got doors. There's a lot, There's a lot of work to it for the guys in this. So yeah. that's the only part that in a in a workshop area or what we're doing customized is just we're having to evaluate. A build our house never our prices are still the same. They've been there almost what two years now? Yeah. Haven't changed. It's just when you want to add a lot of stuff to it. I just don't want to lose money is what all I'm trying to do. All right. Now, it's not ready, but I'm going to show you the house. It's really cool. It's super nice. Very. Yep. I got it. Yep. They got a ladder that goes right here. It's been built. It's already there. Wow, this I looks love, different in here. In. The kitchen is cool. Oh, my goodness. It's I love yeah. this. Now, wow. What we did is we put a piece of iron across here. And it'll be a support beam, but that iron is super strong. Wow. Isn't that cool? That is really cool. Yep. And that's, see the roof line, how it goes up and it's big and flat. And then it even changes the elevations up there. Yeah, it does. So it's a super big loft. Oh my gosh, look at this house. Now, the bathroom wall goes right here. We got a little wall that we're starting to build right here. Yeah. This is where the toilet is. You got a toilet, you got a fan, you have a window, sliding barn door. Okay, mm -hmm. so the bathroom actually starts right here. So we've had, you have a dining room or living room right here. Mm -hmm. You've got a full kitchen. Back there is your sink. Look at this yeah, let me big so kitchen. Look at Holy this cow, and look at that great, big, beautiful sink. Look at that. Wow. Look, we framed this out over the tongue. So you've got a window. So it's got a cantilever sink. and like a box bay window. Right here, and this is, I mean, oh. a kitchen. The this, thing is, is this doesn't stick out into, this isn't a part of your floor plan because it's out of the way. Out of the way. It sticks over the tongue. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh my God, that's huge. 
That's a big one. That's a big one. And that's actually got to move. We made a boo-boo. Oh, it's going to move. You know what? Okay. I didn't look on the plans, and I said, oh, my God, that's some perfect spot because those heat mini splits need to blow the length of the house. Okay. If you possibly can. Right. But normally there's two lofts in every house. You don't want to put it in a loft. Right. So I put it up there and the homeowner said, no, it was mm -hmm. supposed to go over the door. Mm, okay. And the outside condensing unit is supposed to be in the back. They were okay. in the back. So, so it's I'm, only switched. I'm taking it all out. I'm putting it right there and we'll put the unit in the back. I've okay. already figured out how we can do it. All right. There you go. I made a mistake. But that's okay. So, we'll yeah, fix it. I like telling that because yeah. it can be changed, you know. Awesome. Um, can I just look at that sink really oh quick? God, look look at, at this thing. Holy cow. Hey, hey, hey. Guess what? You can fit in it. That's hammered oh. copper. <laughs> hammered, hammered copper, right? That's right. Yeah. Hammered. I could get in it. You could get in it. Now, you want to show that room? Yeah. All right. Wow. We have a washer and dryer. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Hey. Can I one or two of those cedar logs back there? Yeah. You, oh, gosh, yeah. I want it. Well, it's not for grandma's. What? Mother's Day Sunday. <laughs> yeah. I gotta make some. I can go home for Christmas. What? I can't put that on I can go home for Christmas or Thanksgiving. What? Bro? I gotta do something I can't special. Say. I can't. Anna? Yeah, you can. Okay. All right, sorry. <laughs> You're all right, buddy. That's fine. That's my baby. <laughs> If the moon was made of ribs, would you eat it? He said that right before I went out of the office. Ah. And uh, this is stand up washer and dryer. Okay, in your toilet. So you're walking in. Washer and dryer, toilet. Look here. Shower. Vanity. Look at all this. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Boom. Right? Mm hmm. Big 36 inch shower. This is our standard shower we put in every home 36 inch shower. I like this. You've got a vanity in here. Mm hmm. Look back here. Oh, the vanity will be right here. Yeah, in a full bedroom. Wow. Stop. Look at this. I mean, this is one big bedroom. This is a big old bedroom, man. Oh, my wow. goodness. We have an egress window. Look, everybody. We provide an egress window in this bedroom, plus another window here for cross ventilation. You have wow. a closet. There's a closet in the bedroom right here. Wow. And this big bedroom. This house is unbelievable. I want this house. I do too. I like it. I mean, I love this. Yeah. This is super nice. Oh, uh, yeah. I would say this is like nice. Yeah. Wow. Nice design. Mm mm mm. Good deal. All right, everybody. So, the, yeah, that's cool. You know what's neat? But lots to do. Lots to do still. Oh, it'll be thrown together. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what's neat? <clears throat> you got Jennifer's right here. Mm -hmm. You got this one. You've got Jeannie. All right? Mm -hmm. All different. Yeah, all three. And they love their homes. They're all, we go into Jennifer's, it'd be like mm -hmm. gorgeous. Everybody's falling in love with that one, you know? Yeah. And then we got Andrew's. Everybody loved that rear staircase. I think so like, different. It's cool. I love it. Where can you go and have, I mean, 100% mm -hmm. Custom home. No. Okay. You see all our wood over here? All that, all that will be cleaned out for the jam. Mm -hmm. All that's gone. Okay. Yep. Come on. Here's Andrews. Andrews has uh, probably two days of work left. We're going to put another coat of stain on the outside, color it, freshen it up. Mm -hmm. We've got a little touch up that we'll be doing. Oh, yeah. Let me go inside and see. There, <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. I love this house, man. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. It's so yeah. How could you ever just get used? to I can't get up there. You can't. You can't go no. up there. No. Uh -uh. You got a little stove, right? Wow. There's a little stove. There's this kitchen. Yeah. Sun, beautiful. Of course, you this guys is know, we showed that. Yep. you know, we got the countertop that fits on that. We mm -hmm. showed that before in another. We will do another video when it's completely done. This is going to be featured at the jam. Yeah. The guys pulled off of this this week to get ready for our workshop. Then they'll be back next week, put a couple days, be done, wrapped up, sealed up, ready for the jam. 
Andrew has been gracious enough, as some of the other homeowners have said, keep my house for the jam. For the jam. And yep. I just so appreciate that. Yep. 20 plus homes are going to be here on display. Wow. Yeah. This is his outdoor storage inside, underneath the staircase. Is your storage. We've got all this wrapped in metal. That is neat that that's all, under the staircase. It's got weather stripping. It's got metal wrap for um, water proofing. Mm -hmm. yep. And we got a little awning here. Isn't that cool? I can't say enough about the guys mm -hmm. that, um, that work here and take a pride in what they do. You know, I don't push. We, we have a time frame and a time limit because we have a certain amount of labor that we can have in a home, yeah. labor hours. That's what it is. But the guys know that. But we really don't hurry. We just, I've, I've designed it to where if you're just consistent every day in work, the home will be done. It's because of how we provide the materials on time, how we provide the designs, proper designs. And we've made some mistakes and had to go back and redo them. That's part of being in a business and learning, right? And we're always going to have problems, but to, to lower them down to a lower, lower percentage and still be efficient. And that's what we're learning to do. Mm -hmm. Here's mom. Wow. That looks that, great. That Look beautiful. at that. Oh, yeah. That is pretty. <laughs> there is John. Wow, look at that. Now, Mom's is going to be completely handicap accessible. Yeah. We've got a French door here so she can get in and out. If something ever happens, we need to get her a bigger door. It's a 3 0 door regularly. But we've ordered a, uh, a canvas to go over top of it, and it'll have ringlets, and it'll look like a covered wagon when we get done. We're going to set a couple whiskey barrels out here. Yeah. And we're going to have a couple wagon wheels around it, so it'll look beautiful. Kind of neat. Yeah. Um, we've actually, got, what happened today? Was it all, did it get sprayed? Well, in, inside, we whitewashed the whole inside. Mm -hmm. The hardwood floors are down. The interior walls are up. Is and the roof? The is roof's done. Ceiling, ceiling. Everything's done inside. Now we're ready for spraying the inside. We're going to put three coats of sealer inside to make it shine. Okay. And then uh, that'll be done tomorrow. It's Thursday. Friday, we'll set the kitchen, the bathroom, and the shower. That's a cute. Now, listen, guys, I got a shower in here I'm going to show you. My mom is it's going to be a handicapped shower. So when she walks through that walker, okay, <laughs> she's going to go into the bathroom yeah. and have no bump on it. But I'm not doing a tile. All right? I'm not putting any tile. I'm not, I want to, I got to do it inexpensively. Yes, right. I want to spend $3,000 laying tile. Right, exactly. Pouring a great big pan That's for right. the shower. Mm -hmm. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. We'll be looking forward to that. Here's Sharon's house. Sharon's here working a little bit. We're gonna have her house for the jam. This is our workshop. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the workshop house. Okay, all three of these we got. One, two, one, two over there, and that's the third one over here. We got a fifth wheel, 22 and a 24 footer. All right, this one right here is uh, their last name McLeod. If you guys are watching, this is your home. As you can see, the headers and the rafters are going up. Tomorrow we should have it sided. Uh, sheeted, windows in it, roof on it, pretty much. And then wow. the Friday we'll finish mm -hmm. it up. Um, back here, I'll show you what we've done. What we started doing is we insulate. Now we put insulation, okay, mm -hmm. between the, the wood and the fender. Oh, right? okay. For what, what's well, the reasoning? We're learning that people that are in some colder climates, like mm -hmm. Chelsea, yeah. said she had some you know, issues with sweating okay. just along the bottom of our walls. Huh. You know, now if you underpin it from here down and you insulate, you probably wouldn't have that, that problem. Right. But it's just hard to, it's hard to, to winterize. It's not, it, you know, if you've got to do it like a regular home. If your regular, if your home was open to underneath and blowing, mm -hmm. it's going to freeze. Right. Things are going to happen. But with a fender, it's, it's tough. So what we're doing is we got insulation here and we got insulation under here. All right, so we're wrapping our fenders now with a oh, th one thick inch of foam. Insulation. Okay. Now, this, this is interesting. This is a cantilever. Okay. And we had to weld our own cantilever out today, and we we'll have to bring put the, the lights out here. We got to bring them out. This is a bay window. Mm-hmm. 
so the bay window will stick out beyond here. It'll have a little um, uh, hip roof. This is I, this is not shaped, oh, Lord. It's, it's got three windows here on this bay, which is a setting area. The floor is the same all the way through. Now, in all reality, what sh probably should have been done is probably that trailer should have been longer right. and fabricated. But we've got welders, guys, that know how to weld here. And they went ahead and we built a frame under mm, here. Yeah. And then we're also going to secure it by using the same plywood. We'll be here. The one sheet of plywood will actually be fastened with a sheet here. We're going to notch our wood and glue it and screw it. And we're going to put plywood. It keeps any of the weight from transferring down on the floor. But it is welded. Okay. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So that's McLeod's. It's a two-stage roof. You're going to have a steep roof along with the, the, the um, four-degree four pitch. All right, wow, that's here. a lot I'm, of I'm house. Show this. Oh, no. She can hear, Janet can hear me chewing my gum. <laughs> All right. Can you guys see? This is how we anchor the house. Okay. We bolt it and we anchor it through into the trailer all around the perimeter of the house. Yeah. All right. Now, another thing we do you'll see is we put hurricane straps from the rafters to the walls, but this is the big deal. I want to show you guys. This right here, Yeah. that's a solid piece of wood all the way across with a slope cut on each side and underneath. Now before, we would take a rafter and it would be a board from here and a board from here and then we put a gusset on I it. I remember seeing that, yeah. What we're doing now is we used to do this in the first homes we ever built. Watch backing up. Okay. Um, but we're going back to this because what I've done is I evaluated our time and our material. Mm -hmm. and by the time we gusset it, glue it, and screw it, and have a man cut out the rafters and do that, we can make four cuts. We got a rafter. Oh wow! So we take a two by ten, trim it. Mm -hmm. The bottom of a two by if we do it out of a two by twelve, the bottom portion is enough for another house on a rafter. You're kidding, so you yeah. found that out. So we can get two in one. Okay. It's just stuff. When I That's got awesome. time to just think, it's cool because you can come up with even. Well, even that saves time and money. 125 homes, and we're still coming up with cool little dis designs, yeah. quirk designs. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm showing the world that. Yep. That's simple. Mm -hmm. You guys watching this, you can cut your own rafters. All right? That's a simple process. Look at what I've done, watch the video. You can see, cut, boom. You know, I think it's easy. Is, is it that easy? Wait maybe? a minute. Ho, 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 ho. Cut, I do, boom, snap. Cut, boom, done. <laughs> and that's out here in the shop. And in the office, it's click, boom, done. Hmm. Pretty I'm quick. seeing a pattern here, Randy. Cut, boom, done. Cut, boom, done. Cut, boom, cut, boom done. Click, boom, done. But you know what? It's been proven <laughs> to work. Now, this is Jackson's house. All right? Wow. You know what? Yeah, she's okay. I'll just say her last name. But she really wants to be anonymity. How you say it? An anonymity. An an yeah. Okay, moving on. All right, window. Another bay window. Look here. Another bay window. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? These are some. These are some chunks of houses. That's a twenty-four. This is a twenty-two. Wow. Beautiful man. Gorgeous. Come on, everybody. Look at what we're doing. Compare all these prices. Go on our go online and find out what a 22 foot is. There's no way. There's and I no guarantee way. you, nobody in the United States. You know what I'd like for somebody to do? I, I wish somebody would. They would quote your homes the way you have them, like what they would charge to build it. Yeah. That'd be... Go on their website. And find yeah, they cry. Now, I'm not dogging their quality because they do no. some good homes, man. Exactly. Yep. But I'm out there to compete with them. That's right. Four foot French door. Four foot French door, look, a bay window, three windows in the bay. That's fixed glass up there. Yeah, I Just love. like Jennifer. Yep. Two there, two there. Just look, like American Freedom. On the other side. Yep. Yep. Isn't love it. Cool? Mm-hmm. And of course, we did this one, the featured one. Yes, and we're waiting on a few things with it, but have I've, you guys, have, we've not done a tour of it yet. You want to do a tour while it's decorated? Uh, yeah, I do, but I'd like to do it with, uh, we got to have power on. It looks so much prettier. Can you turn power on it? Because I've got it decorated. 
This one right here, we're waiting on a few things from uh, like a door. Uh, she wants a different door. Waiting on something about the microwave. Um, just a couple of, I think it needs something underneath or something, but I went ahead and decorated this one on uh, Sunday. So I've still got to get pictures. The only thing, you'll have to take your shoes off. Randy, turnaround time on these houses. Um, this one Joseph built, we, we have a, a labor cost we have to stick within. Yeah, budget. Uh, Joseph, I think, had about 17 working days on this. Mm -hmm. All in all, if you keep track of the days, hours spent on it. Right. Of course, these guys have only been on this house for four days, I think. Right. It's getting ready for the workshop. And it'll be a workshop. No, it's, about a, it's, a, it's about four to five days, but this is a lot, too. We got a big bay a on here. We got the metal roof yes. going on it. This is some specialty items in this house. It takes right. four days. Um, what's my... Stop. You were the best. There's Alyssa. Alyssa knew that we locked it today because we didn't want anybody dirtying it up, so we locked the door. Oh. <laughs> I'm so glad you were... Thank you, Alyssa. You're fired. <laughs> Again. I'll take my shoes off too. Because we don't have the cardboard down. Let's see, Amanda. Ugh. I don't know where the... All sugar. Let me see. Oh, let me have... Well, you got let me go get it. Yeah, I'll take it out. I have these lights in here. Hang on a second. Let me take this out. We just ordered some lots. We've been doing electrical work here. They may have killed the power. Okay. But I decorated this Sunday, and um, I want you guys to see it. See what you think of it. Ugh. I got... We got these new lots. Look at these cool lots we got. Well, I haven't used them yet, and I don't... We'll see. Me and Alyssa will do something, won't we, Alyssa? We'll figure it out. Figure out something. And I do have flip-flops on. Ansley. <laughs> I've got my flip-flops on. Oh. Let me put it over here, man. To see okay. I'm going to lay this right here. Ugh. Any juice yet? Um, I don't see nothing. Oop. Let me see. Where's the light switch? No, nothing yet. You can see some of it. Look how cute that little sink is. <laughs> I know Ansley. I'm, me and my. Oh, and there's Joseph's list. Huh? Oh, yay! Yeah, they got it, Randy. That's it. Wow. Woo! Look at that. I know. Let me back up. There's Joseph's list. I'll put it right there. That's like a little punch list that we do to show what still needs to be done. Go ahead and just walk through. I don't need to get in there. Okay, yeah, because you'd have to take your boots off. There's the loft. Let me go up on this a little bit so you can see. Okay. There's a loft right there. I just made it into like this little, just a little decorated area, but that could be another bed right there. There's ceiling fan. There's the mini split. It's got a little bit of a catwalk right there going across. I'm just going to go slow so you can see everything. Then underneath, there's the pull-out sofa, the flip. Oh, sugar. Oh. Well, I'll be. Well, we had lots. <laughs> what we've been doing, we're redoing all the electrical. And the right. Lights. Anyway, I'll go on. There's the, the flip-out um, love seat right there. I did it in brown and red, kind of decorated. There is, um, there's a ladder. Hey, Jennifer Fused. Oh, I love doing her house. Now, this is the one that Randy said is over the wheel well. So, whenever you come in, you have to step down two steps. And that one right there flips up for storage, and that bottom step flips up for storage. Okay. So, here's all this. Hey, Regina. Okay. Now, let me turn around here and show you the loft. Here's the bedroom up here. I made just a little area to sit at. There's a great big old bed. And remember the stained glass window that she sent? 
So pretty. Great big bed in the loft. Randy's out there working on the, trying to get electrical. Isn't this pretty? All right, then I'll go down. Let me show you the stairs. I'm trying to do this. No, no. Oh, here it is. You got it. Okay. So here's the stairs. So you come in the door and you go up the stairs right there. And remember, Randy said that that was real tall right there. So you can step on this step right there and then you can sit your bottom down right there and turn around and jump in the bed. Isn't it pretty? Oh, it looks good. And then here's the kitchen. It's got a flip up table right here at the end to flip up. There's the floor looking all pretty. She's got like a single bowl. Ham ha what is it, Randy? Hammered. Hammered copper. Hammered that copper. Amanda. What? Yes, that's what I just told them. Yeah. That opens. Mm -hmm. That one opens and the bottom one opens. That opens. We get it. Now, back under back here, up. that whole sofa opens. That opens. That's got our regular sofa. Let me back up here so you can see. Right here. That yep. pulls out and that lifts up. That is so cute. Isn't that nice? Oh, it looks so nice. Hammered copper, babe. Hammered copper. So here's the kitchen right here. God, it's pretty. She wanted two shelves right there. And that's the slider windows. What? Yeah. I mean, like, what kind of size is that? Size two by four. <laughs> so I'm going to go over here so you can see the... Now, this is where, that's where the microwave is supposed to go. They're going to adjust that. Like, she has a microwave that's supposed to hang on the wall. So, um, Joseph has to work on that. That right there, what goes underneath there, Randy? Yeah. Well, it's a washer and dryer, I believe, right, isn't it? Right, oh, right. he don't know. Right. But there's all her little cubbies. Right. Uh, something got took out right there. I had something there. There's the cubbies right there. And then, the bathroom. You will never, uh, ever, ever know me. What? Okay. Mm, so here's music, the mood music. Mood, mu <laughs> mood music is yeah. supposed to be quiet. It like, hmm. <laughs> okay. Now. Right here, she uh, Joseph's going to fix this. Uh, they have to do something with the microwave up here store, so this will probably change. Here's the fridge. Mm -hmm. And then here's the bathroom. There's a sliding barn door right there. Super cute. Been thinking about it, and then here is, we built the compost toilet, which is super cute. Did you build it, Amanda? I did not build it, but I'm a we, as in this I company, know, we. I, <laughs> I got my hands in everything here. So right here, and Randy, I wanted him to walk in here to hit that, because he hates that little bath mat, wooden bath mat. Ugh. He hates it, and I put it in every house I can. Um... But I just put some candles there, and this is just a box. Toilets underneath there. She's got a mirror right here. There's a little window. Let me go over here. Here's the shower. Great big shower. Let me flip it. There we go. And she's got that. Um, is it that old rub bronze? Is that what it's called? The color. Yeah. <laughs> He's a look. Look. Yeah. He's give up. He don't care. Right here, look at the cubbies. Those are super cute. I'm gonna go real slow. And then let me look back. Randy, I mean, honestly. Really? I'm really? Oh, here's I'm the bored. kitchen. Here's the kitchen cabinets right here. Let me show you that. That's sloth. Well, everybody wants to Remember, see it. That's sloth. What was that frozen world? That's sloth. <laughs> he moved around everywhere. And he, uh. Uh. What was that called, Alyssa? That show? Yeah. Arctic, frozen world. Fro um, no. Mammoth, mammoth sloth. Ma um, frozen No, mammoth. it was... Um, yeah, mammoth. Hey. Ice Age. Ice Age? Who said that? Don't tell him. John told me. Oh, John's a nice He's person. He's a little guy. He does have a little guy. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That is thank cool. You. What do y'all think of this house? Right. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer said great colors. I picked red and brown, so... That break, is cool. Break colors? Huh? Was it break or great? Break, great. Why would she say break? I don't uh, She has a brain, Randy. Unlike, God, unlike you guys. Or what? Oh, my God. Well, okay. Well, I guess. Well, I look. The numbers have just dropped. Oh, well, let's wrap Viewers it up. Viewers are falling. Let's wrap it up. Oh, let's, God. Hey. Let's do <laughs> that's what I get. Wrap it up. That's cute, isn't it? That's what I get. 
I say, that's right, Ansley. I get the old finger. Oh, shut. Yeah, you do get the finger. I guess. <laughs> that ain't the finger you get. I right dare. <laughs> Quit! You don't have to smash my finger. All right, let's go over here. Okay. Yeah. What did y'all think of that house? Oh, Randy, what? That was not boring. What? I love the house. What? Uh, what size? Was it 18? 18 feet. 18 feet. That was a lot of house. That's... Yeah, so isn't that cool? Started. Eight by eighteen was yeah. that house. And look, this Thank is, you guys. All right, everybody, this is lap siding. Look here. This is lap siding. This whole house has been sanded on the inside and on the outside. Oh my gosh! Look how beautiful that is. That's and what it, I think, Janelle. Cozy. It is just cozy. Yeah. Eighteen. You did, you did a good job. Decorating. Eighteen, Judy. Thank you. Living room, kitchen, right? Yep. Full nice loft, staircase, big bathroom, storage, compost. I and love look at, it. You see, did they all see the, the flower box? Yeah, the little outside? flower baskets. Mm -hmm. That's cool, isn't it? Beautiful. Right, love more. it. This is for another workshop. We got three homes this next yeah. week. Yeah, look at this beast. This is huge. Yeah, you wait till next week. We got major stuff happening here. Wow. 30 foot gooseneck. Oh my God. In a workshop. In a workshop. Yeah. But there's a they reason. Got about six people coming. There's a reason why. You did that, you let this happen because... He's skilled. He's skilled. He knows what he's got. He's got bringing skilled people. Yeah. You know, I've got a gentleman that wants to come in August. Mm -hmm. He's a contractor. He's yeah. going to bring six of his buddies. And they're wanting to build, a, I think, a 10 by 30. Yeah. You know what I say? Have at it. That's right. Yeah. You got the people and the skill? Absolutely. Yeah. This is a, there's a lot to this house. Um, we're so fortunate because Kate now is doing our drawings and mm -hmm. is pinpointed. She has been out here doing quality control, checking all the windows, checking the heights, checking the placement of them, making sure they're in, checking to make sure that the proper windows, that's what John does, yes. inventory, keeping our supply active and yes. properly placed. Yeah. And it's helping a lot. John uh, used to be in the office where, where uh, Alyssa and everybody was, but he's over there with Kate, so they, are, they get to work closely together because their jobs intertwine. Got it. So they have to be close to where yep. you got to have answers like that. What we're doing is we're getting Sam from sales, mm -hmm. Kate to design and change orders, yeah. to John inventorying on the floor to the guys. Yeah, exactly. Out the door. Right. I mean, four steps were gone. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. And this is a gooseneck. Look at this big bean. Wow, that is crazy. Isn't that cool? Look at this. I mean, look at the size. It's a 12 inch I beam. Wow. Yeah. Can I just say that I saw Tom on this yesterday, and it was like, it looked like nothing. I mean, it looked like just the trailer. Now look. No, it's a house. Now it looks like yeah, now Yesterday it looks, was a frame. Yesterday was a frame. <laughs> You'll have the roof on it, the rest of the windows, the doors, and everything by the end of the day tomorrow. Wow. And we're wiring it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, Friday. To Friday, we're wiring it. Tomorrow's Thursday, right? Tomorrow yeah. is Thursday. Friday, yes, we'll sir. wire it. We'll plumb it. The homeowner's coming in on Saturday because he lives locally. Not locally, but an hour He's visiting away. locally, yeah. Coming here Saturday morning because he's got some specific wiring to be done. And then we're going to insulate it. Wow. Saturday afternoon. Done. Fantastic. Tell me, tell me things ain't Oh, happening. my God. Can we show the outside right, of that here one? Here I, I have to say, I did not think these colors was going to work. Hey, come on. Let me, let me, I'll ask you a question. Okay. Look at that. Ah, that looks so clean and pretty, and oh, wow! Teddy painted this piece, him and Bobby. Gorgeous. Yeah. I didn't think the colors were gonna work. I didn't either. Oh, I mean, oh my God! Uh, Kenneth just said it's Cleveland brown colors. That does. Oh my God. And it's Harley Davidson, isn't it? Well, yes, I think black. it is. Yeah, it, yeah, black and orange. That's wow. So is that not something, Melanie? She said it's stunning. I mean, that, it's just so sleek, modern looking. That's right, Gloria. Think about it. Hey, Gloria. We went from an 18-footer, right? Wow. To a 12 by 36. <laughs> what? And, and a thatched roof, eyebrow dormant home, to this. Come on, everybody. This is, and I'm gonna, awesome? and I'm gonna do my best to put a little bit of decoration on this 
before it leaves, and it's it's leaving soon. Well, yeah, it, you know what? It's been delayed a little bit because of the hauler. We have to have an 18 wheeler haul this out. Of a here. commercial hauler, so yeah. So he's trying to coordinate that, so that's going to give you a couple days. Yes, good. So yeah. I'm going to try and get you some nice pictures so we can tour it really quick. I love this door. Wow. We got some iron, decorative iron that's going to go that's on this door. On the outside, we yes. Got decorative iron that'll go on here. Man. But look, look at the door. And look. Beautiful. Yeah, you just open this sucker up. That is crazy. I, what you know, a, I look at the door. How well, here's what I can't get over is the detail in this wood. Like, what kind of wood is that? That's hardy board. I didn't know what that was. That is maintenance-free hardy board. Wow. That is too. Yep. And then, up there and then metal. Yep. All this, all this is flashing. And he wanted to keep this white. Yes. So uh -huh. the flashing goes up underneath here. So oh, when rain yeah. trickles down, it can't penetrate back. It Ain't can't come pretty? back in here. Comes down. This is all caulked. Comes down and off. Unbelievable. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you want to go back in again. Yeah. yeah. You want to? Go ahead. Take sure. a peek. We're doing just watch your head. Okay. Now this is a 60 inch door. Wow. Okay. Look at all this. Oh. You put the shelving up today. Oh, look, here's a little uh, divider. Yeah. Kind of thing. Goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my fun. gosh, Randy. Okay. Look at it in here. I know. Oh, let me just look here. Breathtaking. Who said that? Yeah. Nanya, yes, breathtaking. Look at the ceilings. It's a beadboard ceiling. Oh, wow. See all the vines? Oh the, my goodness. I know. Hey, yeah. real that's a good question. Annie Bean said, is the hardy board cheaper? No, it's more expensive. More expensive. Quite a bit more. Quite a bit. Wow. And this is not hardwood floor, it is tile. All tile. All this is tile except for the bedroom yep. floor. Yep, look here. Tile. See the it looks like there's metal. Oh my gosh, it looks like yes. Yeah, but and it's, it's all, all tile. All of it's tile. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I know. And they love the ceiling. I mean, that ceiling. Look at this, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Why would you not want us to build your home? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good question. Why would you Why? not want? I mean, we're less price than everybody. And just as good a quality, oh, if not better, gosh. design. And we work custom. This is the homeowner in Kate designed this house. And this thing is so gorgeous. Yeah. And he actually let us design some of it. Like in here, we got a remote control raised bed. The homeowner will end up tiling his own bathroom. Yeah, he's doing his own bathroom. And we did everything. Look at the mm -hmm. size of that, man. Wow. Look, is that like a, a, paper, a toilet paper holder yeah. that they built? That's mm -hmm. cool. And in here, the homeowner sent his hardwood floors. Yes. Oh, yeah, look at there. Beautiful. Yeah, neat. And the, I love. Look at this. Um, I that's I like that door. Look at that. And this is a guest home. Yeah, this is just a guest house. You guys want to call Jim? If anybody wants to be a guest with <laughs> Jim's house, here's all. Be that our storage. guest. Yep. Look at all that storage. Isn't that neat? Crazy beautiful. Yours. Pull out. Oh my gosh. Washer and dryer. Washer and dryer will go right here. Full yeah. size washer dryer. And he put his uh, hardwood oh, floors. Cow. The bed. Hardwood floors in the bedroom, yep. Remote control bed. Here's the bed. It raises up right here. Storage underneath. Oh my gracious. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Got storage under there. Oh, wow. Hey, look here, everybody. And storage right here. Yeah, the drawers. Look at Look at this. Nuts. I know. This is crazy. Nuts, man. Wow. And then it's kind of bayed out right here at the end. This is a bay window, round door, sconces, everything. A round window. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at all this space. 
Oh, this is a house. Oh my goodness. 12, it's 12 by 36. Jeez. Has it got too many splits? I'm sure. Yeah, one I'm here, one up there. Okay, yep. yeah. There's lots there. Isn't that nice? Uh, yeah, it's nice. All right, let's go talk Beautiful. about... Let's go talk about a surprise. Announcements. Man. Announcements and surprises. Look at this. I just want to show... Wow. So I'm going to do my best to decorate it some before it leaves, everybody. So can I step on these real quick? Just to look, take a peek up there. Okay, upstairs. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. Beautiful. Okay. Hey, I wanted to point out too, I'll take my tape right here. You see, this is called corrugated metal, right? Yes. Okay, well, it's got mm -hmm. ribs on there. It's got these little pumps. Yeah. Okay, well, underneath there would be a big hole, right? Okay. I mean, what do you fill that in with right Right, there? good, yeah. Well, what we did is we took foam. There are foam strips that come with that type of metal. Uh -huh. And there's a foam right there that follows oh, the contour. Oh, really? It follows the contour of that. Oh. That weatherproofs it. Okay. Isn't that neat? And there's flashing. All up above it, right? Mm. There's a gutter. Yeah. There's our gutter that we have, right? So the water won't run down the side of the house. I'm in shock. I can't believe these colors worked. Well, I have to say, whenever I heard that it was going to be orange, I went, oh my God, I don't think it's going to look right. Look at this door. Beautiful. It's got a, it's got a rain lip right here. Beautiful. And so it runs down the side. Mm. The rain does. It's also got a hole here so the water can drain through the bottom. Really? Yep. So. That's cool. Yep. Isn't that neat? H uh, how expensive of a door? Like, there, is it lots involved? Of lots. <laughs> lots and lots of money. Yeah, you know what? We haven't actually just priced, I think, a single door like that. It's usually included in a house. How long does it take? Well, we've got it down now where we can fabricate them really quick because mm -hmm. I buy the rings. Yeah. We figured out how to boom, 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 put it together, weld the jacks, and I mean the hinges on it, and good. So, um, I'm excited because we can manufacture those things and produce them. So if you want a, a Hobbit door, we can put it in almost any home and not be a big manufacturing. So it's kind of like weld, piece. boom, done? Well, boom, done. <laughs> Everything boom, done. Look over here. We got our three houses over here waiting. Yep. See? I mean, we're going to have 20 homes in here for the jam. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. 20 plus. 20 plus. Yep. Yeah. Here, we'll walk right over here. Okay. Your mom's house is looking great. Yeah. If the Hardys are watching this in their house, yep. mm -hmm. they'll have, uh, we got a few days, with, so I talked to him today, we'll be Good. Uh, doing a few things for mm -hmm. them to get ready for the jam. Uh, Cindy's Cindy. house. This is Cindy's house. We put a skylight in it. I seen that. A yeah. skylight was in it. I don't know if you can see this side of it. Yep. Let me come over there. I love this house. I love the whole look of yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's one got a skylight now. Right there. Yep. One of my favorite designs. Um, Cute. Yeah. Everybody, I probably just want to make sure, hey, I just want to say this for you guys. Sign, everybody's going to start dropping off. He's talking. I know. Them. You need to do it now because yeah. everybody's hey, up. Guess what? We bought 32 acres. The city, of, the city of Newport called us and said, hey, how would you like to have 32 acres in almost, it's not in city limits, one mile out. We have 30. I closed on it today. I bought 32 acres. Wow. They're holding a the note. I didn't have to go to a bank. And they finan they're financing it for us. They're excited about tiny homes coming to Cock County, Tennessee. Look it up on the map. Newport. Tennessee. It's about 12 miles from this location. Yep. They're opening up their arms. If you want to live in a tiny house, come to Newport, Tennessee. It's called Cock County, C-O-C-K-E County, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. They open up their arms. There's no restrictions. No restrictions. None. You can live in a tiny house, plug it up, done. All right? You need sewer. You know, you're going to have to have a sewer, but they don't care. Put a sewer in, plug it up. They don't care. They, they are like, we want your tiny homes, Randy. On that 32 acres, we will ha I will have my own, I will own my own community. We are already putting in the design of it and presenting it and trying to get it done and do all the rendering of it. 
that's where we're moving. Yep. This right here. We are moving. We'll be moving. Now, we may keep this building for our workshops. I talked to the, uh, the owner of the building today, told them what's going on. They know we're in all this. So we're not jumping out of here. Now, the thing about the workshops, we have been bombarded with emails, people wanting to do these workshops. When I said, hey, I'm going to hold off on them, I went, God, he's like, no, 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 no. No. Okay. The reason I didn't, I, I stopped the workshops is because we were not structured right. We ended up doing too much work in these workshops, mm -hmm. and I'm not making any money. Right. My guys perform too much work. And I, I've said this a hundred times, and you guys have been watching me know that. They were going okay, but then what happened in the designs of them, we put 32 drawers in the house. We put 15 ca cabinets. A homeowner cannot handle that many. A homeowner cannot put all them in in six no. days. No, nope. It's impossible. No. So we got to restrict back our design. We can't be as detailed in the workshop. Custom, we'll do it. We can't. You guys only got six days. Exactly. So I got frustrated in the thing. I was like, man, we can't keep doing this, right? All right, we're not going to stop them. Now, the other thing is, is we had uh, our, our bunk room, okay? Mm -hmm. Bunk room had to be, you can't sleep here. So we, can't, have, we can't sleep here, can't live here, anything. Right. So we can't have the bunk room in here right no. now. Now we're working with the city, and if we stay here, what we're going to do, we're going to see what it takes to bring this up to speed. Mm -hmm. What the old building out is, it leaks and rains exactly. and everything. And right. we don't, we're going to move on down the road eventually, maybe one day anyway. So for right now, what, what we're mm -hmm. doing is like this workshop that people are coming in May and June. We're actually forking the bill for them to stay in a hotel. Right. So they're going to stay just down the road in a hotel, right? And we'll still provide the meals. Now, we got one in August coming, and he said, hey, I don't want your food. I don't want your hotels. I don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. We'll take care of all our, our room and board. Because believe me, we don't make any money on room and board. No, it's just, just a, breaking It's even. just for providing it for you all. Yeah. So what we're even thinking about doing is, hey, if you guys want to, we're opening up our shop, but maybe not do the room and board anymore mm -hmm. until we get maybe in a facility. Right. I do want to have a bunk room. I do want to have this environment where it's more than just building. You come here, you experience the company mm -hmm. and each other as, as people, as we bond together, as you're working together and all that. I want that. I want a bonfire at night. I want you guys to hang out and stuff. So we'll get to that. But now, right now, I think we're going to keep the workshops going because we got one in May and June. That bird just flew in here. And, uh, you mean through that big exactly. opening? <laughs> How'd that bird get in here? <laughs> and it looks like we may have them in August too. Yeah. But that's my whole reasoning. So when you talk, when you call in about your workshops, you will be limited in what you can design in a workshop. We have to have you in and out. And this is for your protection and ours. Because if you don't finish your home, you're frustrated. Mm -hmm. If you don't get what you want, you're frustrated. So we have to limit that. If you want more, just let us do it. Yes. You know. What you're doing when you sh when you come to the workshop, you're saving all the labor that I would include in building for the customer. Mm -hmm. All right, you're right. doing the labor. That's our big news. That's huge all news. Right. That's big. Workshop back and incredible tiny homes just bought 32 acres. Wow, I've in Newport, a, Tennessee. I've got a five-year note. It's all been publicly um, put in the paper, but it didn't put my name in it because I told them not to say anything until I could put it on Facebook and tell you all first. Right. Now they can put it in the paper. And I wanted to tell the owner of this building first, too. I wanted to give him the heads up. So now that I can tell you guys, we own 32 acres. It is in our name. And we own it. It's going to be on the Pigeon River. We have two acres on the river. Mm -hmm. On a river. This ain't a creek. This is a river. All right? It's got high-speed internet. It has got um, water power, city sewer, everything. Mm -hmm. Full infrastructure. I will be developing it. Awesome. I will be putting a community into it. If you're interested in this community, please inquire. Ken, uh, let me ask you this. Whenever the jam, can people visit it while yes. they're here at the jam? You know what? We'll visit it. I'm going to tell you all about this community. I developed 170 acres in, in Sevierville called Brothers Cove. Mm -hmm. It was a resort that I own. I know how to develop land. I love developing land and, and got an eye to make it beautiful and quaint. This is purely wooded on the part. It's 11, 12, 14 acres of nothing but wooded land. Right. On the 32 acres. And then we've got pasture. I would like to do some senior living over there. We call it senior circle living, mm -hmm. where people live in pods and they can help each other as over 65, they can be in there. Right. This is going to happen. All right. So I just want to let you guys know this is land that I own. Mm -hmm. All right. The company owns. We own this. So I have all city, water, power, sewer. If you want off grid, we do have some off grid locations on that property. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'll get to that. 
This is a long-term plan. What I want this to be, I want Cobb County to be the destination of tiny homes in America. Because Cobb County is saying, we want you, Randy, and we want your tiny homes. Right. We want everything here. You can fly into Asheville, North Carolina. You can fly into Knoxville, and you're only 45 minutes away from each one, probably, right. probably an hour away from Asheville. Mm -hmm. You guys come here. We are going to have a village. We're going to have Airbnbs. We're going to have the factory there, the workshop. Eventually, as the years come by, we're going to do all this. I'm excited. This is the beginning mm -hmm. of a big, big deal. For and, with us. The, and with the factory being there, don't think that it's going to be your house is going to be sitting beside the factory no. and all that stuff. It's going to be, there's a wooded area that is beautiful. Oh, yeah. And the factory's pretty. It's going to be a beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want it to be when people come, they come and they tour the factory. They tour the history of tiny homes and our tour of our company and what we're doing. You can and you can learn. There'll be classrooms. There'll be workshops. There'll be stuff that you can learn. It'll be a destination. You'll come there and you'll want to stay two or three days. And it, is it not? Um, I, I know we were over there, but it's like a mile from town, just right behind it. Less than a mile. Less than a mile. You're at downtown shops. Newport. Yeah. Walmart's. The interstate's Everything. a mile and a half away. Yeah. It's uh, what a location. Mm -hmm. So. I just want to let everybody know it is out there. I've been biting it, you know, what, chomping at? Chomping at the, the bit. <laughs> chomping at the bit. Don't so tell everybody. No. Well, I closed today. I signed on the dotted line, and it's been, it's an official thing. And, um, so. too, I mean, I think it's just an extra special. Newport has been unbelievably, last year they paved for you. Can, I, can you say they enough about the Newport? Road. The mayor. Yes. Is, uh, Christine, she paved the road. Yeah. All right. Newport. Said, Incredible Tiny Homes is coming in, and they paved the road for us. Today, when I went to closing, three signatures. Done. Done. That was it. Two pieces of paper. Mm hmm I mean, it was not the stack. Right? So it was sign boom done. Sign boom done. <laughs> I'm getting T-shirts, Randy. I swear yeah. to God I am. So anyway, that county, y'all, you just... You got to come and visit it because if you're from anywhere but here you will won't believe the warmth yes the the handshake mentality that they have and the sheriff there lord he's awesome and you know what i love it is what is it can i say it multicultural mm -hmm, absolutely you know they have a female mayor it's a great melting pot a hispanic mm -hmm. a sheriff and a black mayor yeah. another black mayor, the city mayor absolutely i love it i love that they're mm -hmm. all you know look at spiderweb Oh, <laughs> grab the hold of it. <laughs> Spiderweb birds. So you wouldn't think, you know, that in a small uh, East Tennessee mountain county, you'd have you such wouldn't diversity. Think. Uh, there's actual investors coming in from all over the United States coming in investing in property in that county. Well, there's a lot of people that come there because it's close to Pigeon Forge. You're right on. They have some whitewater rafting on the Pigeon River. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, uh, they've got 11 rafting guide trips that are on that river right there. It borders mm -hmm. some smoky mountains. You got wow. hiking right there. You got beautiful mountains. Y'all wouldn't believe how pretty it is. It's been a sleepy county because mm -hmm. it's, it has no manufacturing, no tourism. It's all over there where Dolly Parton is. Right. This Dolly Parton in that severe county is maxed out. And the traffic, you're not going to get the traffic here that Nothing. Pigeon Forge and everything has. No. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. We're excited. I hope you guys are excited. Please support us in what we're doing and how we're building. Our, our whole endeavor is to not increase our prices. Yeah. And to give you guys homes, affordable homes. Mm -hmm. We're still working on our financing. We're working on our, our manufacturer licensing. Yeah. We, we got some insurance things that we're working on and some NADA licensing. Once we get all that together, we, we I mean, we're working on it. We really are that we can offer a couple uh, finance companies that will help you guys buy I homes mean, the first. financing is almost here, and if it could get all wrapped up and maybe uh, yeah. approved by uh, jam time, you never know. Oh, that would be awesome. Would that not be something? Yeah. yeah. So, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Stay. Buckle up. Can you imagine? Buckle up with us. It, a week here is like a month anywhere else. A year is like five. So stick with us. We're doing nothing but growing. You know what? If we ain't going to grow, whatever we're going to do is going to be a ride. And two, and All I right? just want to mention, because uh, somebody had mentioned, I think it was Gloria, real quick. This is not to be, this property is not to be confused with the property that we were at at the jam, at the, the first jam. No, 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 no. That's just same. five miles down the road. This is 12 miles down the road. This is 30, 32 acres. It is totally different. It's it's in an industrial area, but mm -hmm. we're the only industry, you know, it's and it's on a river. It's beautiful. And it's there's a yeah. wooded part, so You're gonna it's see it. yeah, and we'll everybody can visit it. Yeah, we'll do a, a, a drone video of it and we're gonna you know do renderings and how we wanna talk about our commercial.
Oh, I, I said it, didn't I say it earlier? Did you? No. Hey, well, anyway, we got a 30, <laughs> we have a 30 say it second, again. <laughs> we have a 30 second commercial coming out on Comcast. Yes. And it'll be all throughout East Tennessee. For the next week and a half, it'll feature Carson, he just called. He's um, editing it with the sound, the mm -hmm. voiceover. Remember we talked about the yes. voiceover? Mm -hmm. 870 times it'll air wow. within seven days. Yes. Uh, Ten days. So we're excited. That's mm -hmm. all of East Tennessee, over a whole, hopefully a couple million people. They said it'll reach, you know, whatever it'll reach. But it goes on uh, HGTV, DIY, all that stuff. But only a local commercial. It's not national. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So if you're in East Tennessee, see our commercial. Come here. We are giving a house away. Yes. All right. We're giving it away. Yeah. So 20 bucks get you in the door. And we got food vendors. You got Amanda doing line dance. We got live entertainment. We got um, people selling stuff. We got people talking about Everything. This place is going to be wild. Yeah, it's it all going to be here. Yeah, right here. This is, we got some major sweeping to do. Major. And that's like, you know, we've got a big volunteer day next Saturday. As many people want to. Not wanna, this Saturday, but not, the following Not this Saturday. Saturday, but the following Saturday before the jam. Yeah. As many people want to come Please as they can. come and help Come us. and sweep. When in doubt, sweep. <laughs> come and help us. Yeah. Yeah, it would be great. And so, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Have a great night. Can't thank you enough for watching. Share this video even though it's 14 hours long. <laughs> I'll see you guys.